no makeup. Oh my gosh. In this video, I'm showing you guys a little trick I like to do, and I'm pretty much putting on some crest whitening strips while I'm getting ready. This is so cool because when you're done, you take them off and dang, do your teeth look so white. It's amazing. And I'm gonna be doing a few different lip colors, so they're gonna be looking nice and white at the end, so yeah. So I'm starting off with my brows and I'm pretty much applying the product on the edges first and as I get to the front of the brow, I'm using very soft motions to make the product blend. You wanna have a nice fade from the beginning of your brow going to the end being darker. So I like to use a spoolie to really spread out the product to make it look faded. Now I have a Q-tip here that I have makeup remover on and I'm just cleaning the surrounding part of my eyebrow so it's nice and perfect. In the front area, I like to round it off so my eyebrows don't look too square. It's prime time, baby. This is Hard Candies Primer. I love this one because it makes your pores minimized and it's really silky too. And I'm pretty much putting my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I'm surrounding it around my brow, tracing the outline. And this is going to give you a very clean, flawless brow, so make sure you do this step. Now use any blending brush to blend out the concealer mess that we made. And once that's done, you'll be left with a perfect, flawless brow. Now I'm using Becca Foundation. This is in Olive. It's a matte foundation. and. I put it on this tray and I like to pick it up with my beauty blender so it's nice and even and I'm pretty much blending it everywhere. Now I'm using Hard Candy's Glamouflage and this is a really heavy thick concealer. So I'm pretty much patting this with my beauty blender, spreading it out nice and evenly. Once you've got that blended, now I'm going in with a cream foundation. This is in 5C. This is a full coverage, thick, foundation routine if you want that contoured look. So I'm putting it in all the areas that I want contoured around my nose, my cheekbones, and around my forehead. And I'm using a slant on the tip of my nose. This is going to create a more raised up nose rather than a long straight line that may look like a hot dog. So now I'm blending it with a brush and I'm pretty much going through blending out everything with the Beauty Blender for anything else that needs more blending. So once you're done, it should look like this. And now you're going to set everything with a translucent powder. I'm using Sonia Kashuk's translucent powder and I'm applying it with a loose fluffy brush everywhere. You want to mattify your face so you don't have any shine. Now we're good. This is the Morphe Brushes palette. It's the neutral one. And I'm going in with the light white first underneath my brow to highlight it. Then I'm using the soft off-white color to pretty much transition from my brow to my crease. And now I'm going in with a copper tone to really enhance the crease line in the corners, blending that out. Now I'm using this shimmery nude color and I'm applying it on the corners of my eyelid and in the beginning of my eyelid, keeping the middle lighter. This is gonna create a rounded look on your eyes. Now I'm using Mika Bella Cosmetics. This is a shimmery color in the shade Nature. I'm applying it with a soft blending brush on the outer edges of where the brown is to really define the roundness of the eye. Now I'm using Max Pure Flash. This is a very shimmery white color. I'm applying it with my fingertips to the center of my eye and I'm blending it out with a blending brush. It should look like this when you're all done. Now I'm going back with the same copper tone for underneath my eyes to really smoke it out. I love me some white eyeliner. So I'm applying this to the inside eyelid and this is going to make your eyes appear even larger. 
Now curl your lashes with your favorite curler and I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to make my eyelashes pop. Now I'm using Too Faced Bonjour palette and this is Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. It smells so good by the way. And I'm pretty much going over the already contoured areas on my face to make them stand out even more. And I almost forgot my white strips. So now it's time to take these bad boys off and you can already see how white they look. It's pretty insane. Now I'm ready for lipstick. First lipstick I'm using, this is Rihanna's Viva Glam. It's a metallic bronzy gray, I wanna say. This color is really cool if you like to do different looks that are a little more abstract. So it's fun to play with. Now I'm topping this with Max Lip Gloss in Jet Boy. This color complements this lipstick perfectly, so I like to use that. And now for lipstick number two. This is Max Damn Glamorous. It's a beautiful bright red and it's perfect for a pinup look. And the third one is a pink fuchsia. This is Max Lip Liner Fashion Boost with Violetta Lipstick. And that's all. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and here's a few shots of my outfit with the damn glamorous lipstick. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.